Hi there, this is Chef Martin out in the Thermalworks demo courtyard with Sterling Davis of Sloth Stradamus Barbecue. And uh, today we're gonna do some cooking. Sterling, what are we making? So today we wanted to introduce one of my family's favorite recipes. Um, this is Filipino style adobo manok or chicken adobo. But cool. we're gonna put our own little twist on it. We're actually gonna grill the chicken. Okay, because usually adobo is braised, right? It's normally braised, yeah. Okay. Adobo is the mix of uh, soy sauce and vinegar. There's a couple of other things we like to put in uh, to marinate the chicken with. Okay. Specifically, uh, jalapeno for a little bit of kick, some bay leaves, some black peppercorn, brown sugar, and also some red onion. That sounds great. Okay, so as we've, got our, we've got our ingredients here. Um, you want to start combining? I'm going to cut up this jalapeno. How's that yeah, sound? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So what we do for this marinade is we typically take a cup of soy sauce, a cup of vinegar, and I will say that we are using a Filipino soy sauce and vinegar. We are using uh, Datu Puti is what the brand is called. And that, you definitely get the best results with, with, with that soy sauce. And you can find that uh, at a lot of your Asian markets, exactly. by the way. Uh, most Asian markets carry that or something really close to it. And then we're adding about a fourth of a cup of uh, brown sugar. And if you wouldn't mind pulling oh, sure, the yeah. skin off that, then I'm gonna grab this and mix that brown sugar in. So the goal with this chicken is to get this marinade prepped and put together, and then we're gonna let this uh, marinate overnight. That way all those flavors really come through the chicken and we are absorbing as much of the flavor as possible. So that's about two teaspoons of peppercorns about there? About two, te two teaspoons, yep. And then bay leaves, we are doing about three bay leaves worth. Okay. And that's about all. And then what we're gonna do last is I'll crush just go garlic. Ahead and crush this for you. Perfect. Go ahead and. Do I need to take the skins off this because it's not going to get cooked, or is it? Uh, so you could take the skins off if you want. You don't need to just because it's going to be marinating. It's totally up to you. Okay. We're not going to be eating the garlic though, so correct. It's okay if it's just kind of smashed. Yep. All right, that's that's smashed. Perfect. Let's throw it in there. Oh, that awesome. smells really great even through the mask. Oh, absolutely. Very strong, very, uh, mm -hmm. a good adobo is the right blend of, uh, of sour mixed with the chicken, mixed with everything. So, okay. and then we're cool. gonna grab our chicken. Awesome. So we're using uh, some chicken thighs and chicken legs. The main reason is, is they tend to absorb more flavor in my opinion. I love the, you could do chicken breasts if you want, but the bone in, skin on chicken is what I've had the best results with. So what we're going to do with the chicken is we're going to take the chicken and we're gonna slit it. We want as much of this flavor to absorb in the chicken as possible. So we are just gonna do three slits on either side of the drumstick, same thing with the thigh. So just take any thigh, slit cool. it, and we're good to go. And this is one of my favorite Filipino recipes to make. My kids absolutely love it. It's so simple. And again, you can do it by braising, right? Or you could do it by grilling like what we're doing right now. Okay. Yeah, this marinade, I mean, came together in what, 45 seconds or something? Like Exactly. Like it's a no trouble marinade. And the flavor that you get from such a simple marinade is incredible. Mm, I love the smell of the jalapenos in there absolutely. so much. Absolutely. Okay, so once we slit this chicken, we're just gonna add the chicken into a plastic bag. And once we do, we're going to uh, just pour that marinade over, over it. And then it's gonna go in the refrigerator overnight. Great. Perfect. You wanna hold that open for me? I'd love to. All right, so you could get fancy with the container for marinade. 
I honestly just think that a Ziploc bag does just fine. You want to get the marinade worked all over the chicken and let out any air if possible. And there you have it. That's the marinade. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Welcome back. Here we are. We've got marinated chicken, been marinating overnight, and it's time to grill it, right? Time to throw it on the grill. So what method are we using to grill? Are we doing direct heat, indirect heat, two-stage? What's, what's the deal for this? So what we have set up over here is the Primo ceramic cooker. We have it set up for indirect cooking at 300. And the reason why we're doing indirect is to avoid too much char. You want a little bit of char, but not too much. Right. And we're just going to set uh, let the chicken go the whole way indirect, and uh, we'll pull it when it's at temp. OK, great. Let's uh, throw it on then. So you can see the chicken has absorbed a ton of that liquid. Okay, so we are going to take our meat probe from the Smoke X. We're going to insert that into the biggest thigh that we have right there. And it's already preset to 160 to alert us when the temperature comes up. And we'll check it at that time. All right, Sterling, so we've got the chicken on there at 300. It's set for 160 degrees. So that's a little bit lower than we can go for, for dark meat. I take it we're gonna do a char cycle on this too? Exactly, so with the Primo, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out one of the deflector plates that's inside it right now, and we're gonna do a direct sear just directly over the coals in order to raise it the final 10 degrees. That okay. way it gets a nice char, but not too much char, and we should have a beautiful piece of chicken. Fantastic. All right. Sounds great. We'll see you when the chicken gets to 160. All right, Sterling, our chicken has reached 160 degrees. Um, we have taken, explain what's happened here. Yeah, so um, we took the marinade that we had made the night before, and what we wanted to do is we knew that we wanted to, uh, to, to put a little bit on the rice for some extra flavor. Keep in mind with adobo, typically the meat braises in this liquid. Right. So what we've done is we've taken this, this marinade and we have uh, brought it to a boil over the stove. And what we're going to do is when we set the grill up for direct grilling, we're gonna take the chicken out, set it on the rack, we're gonna take the plates out and put the chicken back and when we do, we'll baste it with this marinade. Okay. And at the end, we'll cover it, uh, we'll put a little bit on the rice. Be sure to boil your marinades. Uh, don't just use them as, uh, as is. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get the chicken going then. Let's, let's, Perfect. let's move let's forward. Perfect, let's do it. So we have our handy tongs here. So I am going to take this probe out. Oh, that's gorgeous. So you could see the chicken has developed this very, very nice color. It's a little bit darker from the soy sauce that's been marinating. It is very, very, very aromatic. This is some, some of my favorite chicken for sure. Delicious. All right. So we're just gonna set this aside for now while we get the grill set up for uh, direct grilling. You got that? All right. All right, so at this point of the cook, what we're going to be doing is using our handy thermopen to check the internal of the, of the chicken. This, the chicken is currently at 160. We wanna take it to at least 170. And again, I'm gonna take this and, uh, and baste it and we'll flip it about halfway through. that all right so we have our sauce here now remember when you're doing open flame grilling like this um, direct heat cooking grilling uh, you don't want to have your air probe in there you don't want any probes going over the fire 
Our probes are robust, but they will burn out at these temperatures. Uh, they're only safe to 700 degrees and or so, and you're going to exceed that temperature on some of this. So we will be monitoring this with the thermopen. So we put it on to cook. I can see some nice smoke coming out of there. That indicates the good open flame, some, some direct heat cooking. Um, so do we want to check that? How, how, yeah, how so often do we want to check that? Because the chicken was already at 160 degrees, um, there's really not that long to go. We just want to make sure that it gets a nice char on the outside and that we baste it. But we're, lo we're shooting for that 170 internal temp. Okay. So we'll check that now. So we have the thermopen handy. I'm just gonna go right in the middle of the biggest thigh there. So we're right at about 167. So what I'm gonna so do, this is the perfect time. Yeah, I was gonna say, we checked the smaller ones. They're probably about ready to come off. Yeah, I'm sure that they are. Which is an advantage of a, of a fast uh, thermometer like the thermopen. You can check every piece and get them off at their optimal temperature. Agreed, yep. So now what we're gonna do, since we're in the home stretch here, is we're gonna flip this chicken you can see that it's really getting a nice char on there, beautiful color. We're gonna do that, and then we're going to baste the opposite side of the chicken with our sauce. And as soon as it hits 170, we'll plate it, uh, we'll take it off and let it rest. We should be good to go. Certainly, this looks amazing. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking. So we're gonna close the lid, let it cook a couple more minutes, and then we'll check it again, temperature-wise. So uh, you mentioned uh, the rice. We've got some. Uh, we've got some rice yep. uh, that we cooked up. Jasmine rice is yep. that traditional with with. Uh, yeah, uh, there? I mean, there's there's a variety of different rices uh, that you could get okay. in the Philippines, but jasmine is easy to find. It's delicious, it's fragrant, has the really nice aromatics when you cook it up, and it pairs perfect with this dish. Yeah, if you've been eating just medium grain uh, white rice, and you think that rice isn't any good or is flavorless, try some better rice, like the jasmine. It's, uh, it's yeah. really fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible how big of a difference some good rice makes. Yeah, it made the kitchen smell good just when we were cooking just the rice. Absolutely. So. It's been about three, uh, three and a half more minutes. We have internal temp just over 170 there, 172. So we're going to pull this guy, and we'll show you what we got here. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, yum. Some crispy skin there. I can hear the skin crackling. That's right. All right, so color-wise, <clears throat> We have this beautiful dark color with the chicken. Smells, Smells amazing. incredible. And it just looks like it's been lacquered all over itself. It does. So we're just gonna slice. And that's just right alongside the bone there, huh, on the thigh. Exactly. So we're gonna do a couple slices here. Got our jasmine rice. And you can, of course, just dive right into this if you wanted to. Yeah, eat off the bone if you want. Yep. But what we want to do is we want to take some of this delicious leftover marinade that we that we boiled. Oh man. And there you have it. That looks fantastic. Sterling, this looks amazing. Um, I can't wait to try it. I'm going to ask Sterling to just step away while I take my mask off. Absolutely. So I can have a taste of this. I'm just going to kind of go at this with my fingers and, 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 and gloves here. Mm. Well done, sir. Well done. Try some. All right, I like a piece with a little bit of char there. Get the rice, a little chicken. It's 
perfect. Absolutely delicious. Well, this has been Chef Martin and Slow Stradamus from Thermoworks. Uh, Filipino grilled adobo chicken. Try it out, check it out on his website. Uh, what's that again? At, you can find me at slostradamus.com or on Instagram at slostradamusbarbecue. From Slostradamus and Thermoworks, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.